So are you ready to buy a condo, but afraid of making mistakes? Buying a home is one of the most expensive purchases in your lifetime, and you want to be sure. In this video, I talk with a condo buying expert, and we go over some of the top mistakes people make when buying a condo so you can avoid them. Welcome to Home Buyer's School, brought to you by Brookfield Residential. So before we begin, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to get the latest strategies, tactics, and tips on home buying, click the subscribe button below, hit the little bell so you don't miss anything. Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Home Buyer School. Today, I'm joined by Karen McDonald, uh, Community Manager with Brookfield Residential. And today, the question we're going to answer is, what are some avoidable mistakes when buying a condo? Well, the biggest answer to that is um, be an educated buyer. Make sure that you watch know. these videos. Yes, watch the videos. <laughs> Make sure that you know um, everything that you can know about the new home that you're buying. Uh, I think in a in a multifamily development, any kind, it's important to have all the condominium documentation in advance. Make sure that you do a proper review of it in a brand new home you have the 10 days the conditional period to review that that's Alberta Condominium Property Act that's what you have that 10 day conditional period for make sure you use it um, consult the professionals your realtor your mortgage broker your builder representative they will have all of the answers to your questions that will help you and make this monumental decision in buying your brand new home um, and, and I would say for a resale in particular, making sure that you know whether there are, there have been any special assessments, levies that have been put upon um, homeowners um, in the past. Have they been remedied? <clears throat> do, you, do they foresee any coming up in, in the future? How old is the building? Uh, that's all things that you have to take into consideration when you're considering your total monthly expenses. Mm -hmm. When you mention special assessments, can you go into that a little bit more? Yeah, special assessments are um, they're additional uh, financial contributions that are imposed upon homeowners when there um, is deemed to be maybe enough, uh, not enough money in an operating budget or in the reserve fund to cover maintenance um, and repair uh, of the home. So that can be something that happens um, to a large degree in, in older homes. Um, again, multifamily, new multifamily builds have protections in that for warranties. Yeah. Um, you could buy a resale that still has some warranty um, included in that as well too. But overall special assessments are something that happens like in a single family, any kind of home that you have that would be maintenance of the home um, for anything in the future. What's one, one or two key mistakes you've seen home uh, condo buyers do in the past that you kind of want to make sure the audience try to avoid. Uh, again, avoid. it's about being educated. Yeah. It's, it's about figuring out where you're going to be in the next stages of your life. Yeah. Um, if this is something that you're, you're buying as your first home, where do you see yourself in three to five years? Yeah. Do you think that there's a possibility that you're going to move soon? Um, will you be transferred for work? What are you going to do for work? Um, and from there, Will you have a family? Will you need more space? What's the requirement gonna be for you in the next five years? If you're downsizing, is it gonna be enough space from you from your yeah. single family, larger home? Um, I'd say those would be the biggest items that I would say yeah. a lot of buyers, um, they, they might rush into make the mistake of jumping into something really quick without really thinking yeah. about future use. How about a con buying a condo as sort of an investment property? What would be some of your thoughts on that? Well, um, really buying a condo as an investment property is, is, a, is a great thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, you have the maintenance-free aspect that um, you, you'd, as a landlord, you don't have to take care of that yourself. You don't have to rely on your tenant to maintain that property for you. Um, it's done as a collective. It's uh, making sure that everything is done um, within the development. It all looks cohesive. It's all the same. So uh, condo fees are great for um, investment properties. It really saves landlords from having to take care of that property themselves. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Karen. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. That's another edition of Homebuyer School. Tune in next time for more expert tips and tricks. And visit homebuyerschool.ca to bring you one step closer to finding your dream home. As with everything, it would be great if you like and share our videos. 
Also, please let us know if you have any home buying questions you want us to answer.